Well, Ram Nation, how is everybody doing today? It is awesome to see you. There's probably not a lot that I could guess what would happen in the previous week, but one thing I know for sure, that if you would have said, will there be a big crowd at an event like this on a random Friday, I would have said, is it VCU fans? Absolutely would be VCU fans. You know, I want to take a quick moment before we introduce our guest today and make our introduction of our new basketball coach to talk to you guys, our fans. And speaking from the entire athletic department, I want each and every one of you to know how much you all mean to us and how much you guys are the lifeblood of what is VCU basketball and VCU athletics. I mean, I look at you, I've done this now for 15 years, which is a long time, and I know so many of you by name. We've been through the ups and the downs. It is not easy being a VCU basketball fan, is it? But you guys are awesome at it. And I tell you, I think to myself sometimes, what is it about VCU? Why, why do we have so many banners that hang here in the rafters? And when I take a step back and think about game days here and the atmosphere that you create based on what happens here on this floor, it becomes very easy for me to get to that answer. It is because of fans like you and people like yourselves. And we love you within the walls of the Siegel Center and here on this campus. And we thank you for being so supportive of what we do with our student athletes. You are such an integral role of what we do. And thank you for being here today. So give yourselves, for everything you've gone through, a big round of applause, because it's been an awesome, awesome journey that continues on. In 2009, Michael Rao was hired to be the university president. And from day one, the commitment that he has had to VCU basketball and VCU athletics has been unparalleled. Very, very, I, I am not in a lot of these meetings that happen at the higher level, but I cannot remember a time in the 14 years that I've been and been around Dr. Rao that someone has come back to us and said, yeah, Dr. Rao just didn't think that would be good for the program. Every time that we need something in this program, Dr. Rao comes through for us. And you can tell too, there's not a bigger basketball fan sits right here with his boys and Monica for every game day in section six. His boys probably know more about VCU basketball than I do and I cover the team. They're huge fans and they have an un unparalleled commitment to VCU hoops. And I wanna bring him up to say a few words here to the stage now. Please welcome our university president, Michael Rao. Let me take a look here. I need to say good afternoon. Come on, you can do better than that. Good afternoon. There we go. All right, all right. So welcome to another great day at Virginia Commonwealth University. And I got to tell you, this has been quite a week. In addition to our new children's hospital, in addition to our anticipated rise that I announced of our cancer center to the highest level that NIH awards, and candidly, in addition to the rise of our students, hard to imagine, these gentlemen brought us to the national map again. And I want to recognize them. These are the guys. I have had the privilege of getting to know all of them on various trips, when they've won, when they've lost, and that isn't very often, by the way, they usually win. And I'm so proud of them. They are such gentlemen. They are great human beings. I'm gonna talk about them more in just a moment. It is really my pleasure to welcome Coach Ryan Odom to VCU and to VCU men's basketball. Ryan, welcome back to Virginia. And Lucia, it's a delight to have you be back here with us as well. You're gonna love it. Welcome to the Ram family. It's a great lifestyle, tremendous energy, positive energy everywhere. 
I asked Monica to come so that she could do everything she can to help you with your transition. She'll be a, a great person to be supportive of you. But you know, this is really the Ram family. And there's a Rao Ram family. They couldn't have missed this. They're all here too. And I'm delighted that they are so supportive of the VCU Rams. So thanks to Ed, I had a chance to meet Coach Odom this week. And I really appreciated that opportunity. Um, Ed, Coach Odom, and I share an expansive, just an expansive view of what winning really means. At VCU, winning means a lot of things, Coach, and we talked about this. First and foremost, academically. Our VCU athletes have had 16 semesters of cumulative GPAs above 3.0. In 21 22, in 2022, when Miguel graduated from VCU, I went and checked. Our gra student athletes graduated at a 92% graduation rate. You don't hear that very often, for sure. And Coach Odom, you're respected for your commitment to developing all aspects of young men. And I want to talk about that in just a second. The second area of success is in competition. So this men's basketball team, represented by these ideal gentlemen, because I've gotten to know them, I love them all, they're great human beings. That's an important thing for me to say. They just completed our 14th 20-win season in the last 17 years, earning our 12th NCAA tournament bid since 2007. And since joining and you remember when we were in this room and we decided it was time for us to go to the next conference level and we joined the A-10, the Atlantic 10, the Rams since then, 2012, have won 50 team in 104 individual conference championships across all the sports. VCU has made 74 NCAA appearances since 2012 something I was reminded of frequently when I served on the NCAA board. Other presidents with, with what they thought might have been much more prominent institutions would come over and say, wow, you guys have really done well in the NCAA. And yes, sir, we have. And that guy, in that case, it was a guy, so I said, sir. Um, success. I want to go back to these young gentlemen. Success in shaping young men as world-class human beings is one of my top priorities. And coach, I know you share that, and I'm so delighted that you do. They are role models, not only for this campus, but for the world because they're committed to shaping an inclusive society, a society in which we believe in the potential of every human being to be successful in every way because they demonstrate it every day. in success in building a program, Coach. Coach Odom knows how to win, and winning is important. We like to win. We must win. We're not satisfied with just appearing in the NCAA tournament. We expect to play well into the tournament, and we've done it before, and we're gonna do it again. You're gonna do it again. You deserve to be there because you have the right mindset, you are the right team. All of the ingredients we need at VCU are here. We have a large, diverse, and deeply engaged student population. They're wonderfully engaged in this university. They are the university. We have extraordinary, loyal fans and alumni. They're here all the time a commitment to successful athletics all the way around, every sport. And we're here in the heart of Virginia, our vibrant, rising capital city. R Richmond's never been like it is. And I have to say, I'll say it quietly so it doesn't get picked up by too many people, but I think VCU has a little bit to do with that. Other schools have some of these things, but very few have all of them together. We got it. I'm so grateful for the leadership of my athletics director. For the last 11 years, he reminded me the other day, couldn't believe it's been that long. 
He's fostered an environment that's focused on the most important thing to me, all around student-athlete success, student-athlete leadership, in the classroom and in competition, because when they win on every level, we all win. Ed, thank you very much for your leadership and for your commitment to true excellence. Coach Odom knows this from the opportunity I had to meet with him, but we hold high expectations of our student athletes, of our coaching teams, and all of ourselves. There is no question that we know that we can count on all of them to believe in themselves. Everybody at Virginia Commonwealth University believes in themselves. But one of the things that gives us a real boost and lift is when these young gentlemen believe in themselves and when they know they can win, that's when they usually do win. It helps us all to win when you guys win. And coach, I'm saying that for your sake too because it's such an important part of what makes Ram Nation such a success. This basketball team has a lot of influence on the rest of our community. You're ready for it. You're gonna do great things for VCU. You're gonna do great things for these gentlemen, for our student athletes, and this university. And most importantly, for Ram Nation, we're all here to support you. We're locked arms with you. You're gonna be successful, and we're gonna make sure of it. Use us when you need to, we're all there for you. And as these guys say, every time we get ready to come to one of y'all's games, let's go VCU! I want to take a quick moment before I introduce uh, Ed and say hi to our VCU basketball alumni that are here. We've got a handful of guys that have come. You guys are also so very important to what we do. I want to give them a round of applause. Thank you for coming today. Thank you for your continued support. We know how much you love the program and how much you have meant and been a part of this program. So thank you for being here. Dr. Rouse Wright is 11 years since Ed McLaughlin came here to VCU as our director of athletics. And he mentioned student athlete focus. And as someone that comes into this building every single day and interacts with his staff and our staff, that permeates through the entire department. And while it is written on signs throughout the Siegel Center and in offices throughout the Siegel Center, it is truly in the lifeblood of what we do, that student athlete focus. Every decision that is made is made with these student athletes in mind. And when I said a couple moments ago, what is it about VCU? Why do we get all those banners? It's because our players know how well they're taken care of, and it comes from the very top. The man also knows how to conduct a very quick coach's search. I know some of you here are big on metrics, right? I don't know if there's a metric for coaches' searches, but we have someone that is leading this department that knows exactly what it's going to take to win at this school, has the relationships to get them here and get them here quickly, so our student athletes know who are leading them almost immediately when they, that opportunity happens. So without any further ado, in his 11th year, I want to bring to the stage Vice President and Director of Athletics at VCU, it's Ed McLaughlin. I, I, uh, I promise my speech will be even shorter than the search, so you guys can get to hear from Coach Odom. It's, uh, it's great to see so many faces. You thought in uh, you thought at the end of February it was the last time you're going to see me for a while, but back we are here in the Siegel Center. Uh, I'm going to do a couple thank yous to start, and then uh, and then we'll kind of get going. Uh, first of all, well, I certainly want to recognize. Our former coaching staff, uh, Coach Rhodes, and thank him for his uh, service here and his staff um, in you know, bringing these guys here. Uh, I know these guys here, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> what we did this year was special, truly special. Uh, you know, it's been 10 years since any team has won the regular season championship and the tournament championship in this league. It's hard to do. And those guys did it. Fantastic. 
So I um, want to thank them for, for bringing such wonderful young men here to play basketball for us. I want to thank Dr. Rao and uh, Carol Gray, our university CFO, for all their support and their help in this process. Um, we can't move coaching searches so quickly without the support uh, from our university leadership and, and the support that they give us every day. Um, it's, uh, it, it's hard to win in college athletics. It's really hard to win. But it's a lot harder to win if you don't have alignment uh, from your university leadership in your athletic department. And we are so fortunate for the alignment that we have with Dr. Rao and Carol and their leadership. So thank you uh, for both of you for, for that support. I appreciate it very much. And, and lastly, uh, you know, I'll say uh, thanks to our student athletes. Um, the alums that are here, it's great to see so many good faces, uh, especially led by, uh, led by uh, you know, the, the guys who have done some incredible things here. Um, and, and one guy who's actually got his, his uh, banner hanging up there a little bit. But, uh, it, you know, it, I want to thank our players. Um, this has always been and always will be a, a, an athletic department that is focused on our student athletes. Uh, VCU was built on people. You know, we, we weren't built on fancy things. We were built on people and relationships. Um, so thanks to our guys for not only being here, for all the hard work they do every day. There's uh, a groups that were in this morning in the weight room getting after it, getting stronger, getting better. Um, you know, it's, it's a tribute to their character for their willingness to get up and do that work every single day. So thanks, fellas. Appreciate you all very much. I'll put it pretty simple. Ryan Odom's a winner. He is a winner. He won at the Division II level, went to the Sweet 16. He won at UMBC and uh, engineered possibly the greatest upset at that time in the history of college basketball. Beat this, there's a school out about 45 minutes west of here. I don't know if you guys know them. Um, UVA Charlottesville, they're out there. And uh, Ryan knocked them off in the NSA tournament. Tremendous win. And then this last season, took a, a third team to the NSA tournament. It's hard to take one team at one school to the NSA tournament. Ryan's done it three different places. Um, he, he, Ryan's a winner. But, what's that? Oh yeah, it's going to be four many times over, 100%. No pressure at all. Our fans, I mean, hey, you know, Dr. Ross said we win more than we lose. Our fans think we win all the time. So, yeah, we, we win at home and on the road. So good luck on that one, right? But, you know, it, you go through college athletics and, and you have relationships. And, um, you know, you, you align yourselves in, in, in this time with people who share your values and people who, who do things the way you want them done. Um, you know, we did a, obviously a quick search and, and knowing after a few days um, we, may, uh, we may have an opening and, and talk to uh, a lot of talented coaches who wanted to, to come coach here. Um, but, but through those conversations and through conversations with Ryan, it became clear that, that he really lined up with everything that, that, that makes us who we are and the things in which we believe here at VCU. You know, Ryan does it with a player-centered approach. He does it with empathy. He does it with integrity. He does it with appreciation. And, and most importantly, he does it with joy. Um, you watch his teams play over the years, and I've watched a ton of his games. I watch a ton of college basketball games in general, uh, but I've watched a ton of his games. In the eventuality, um, if we ever had an opening that we could ever get him um, for our next opening. Um, and, and his players play with joy. They play uh, just with an absolute unbridled joy. And I know our guys will love playing uh, in his system uh, next season. But it's hard. It's hard to do that. You know, and you have to really build relationships and to do that. So I heard from a few people over the last couple of days um, just about Ryan and, and, and their, their, their thoughts on it. So Seth Greenberg, a lot of you know Seth, used to be the coach of Virginia Tech. Ryan worked for him at Virginia Tech. Now he's, uh, now he's uh, on, on television on ESPN. And Seth sent me a text, and uh, we just talked all great things about Ryan. And, and uh, he said, he also said, his style of basketball 
will have the Siegel Center fans on their feet. I wanted to text back and like, Seth, they're always on their feet. But, uh, but the reality is he's right. Because they, because he, he, the, the way we, we, we will play together, uh, the way we'll play is going to be fun. Uh, and it's going to be joy. And it's going to bring our fans a lot of joy. Uh, Jay Billis reached out to me, uh, sent me a text yesterday and said, Ryan is a highly skilled teacher and tactician and has fostered a trust-based winning culture everywhere he has been. You know, our guys will be able to, even in a short period of time, uh, realize uh, that how they can trust the staff and how I can trust this staff to develop our young men into the best versions of themselves. You know, the, the what we do, you all see that. You know, you, you see the, the, the winning, the, that product, the what we do. Uh, but for me, and, and what, why we do things is what's most important, the why. Um, the why we do it is our student athletes. The why we do it is for all of you to, uh, to, to show what we can do. The why is, the, the banners that we hang, the, those are just outcomes for all the hard work, um, all the developing of them. And if we can turn them into the best versions of themselves, the winning takes care of itself. It really does. Um, and Ryan has done that throughout his career at different spots. He's turned around programs like UMBC. He's taken over programs with great uh, history and, and tradition like Utah State. Um, and I am so very, very thankful uh, that he has agreed to come in and be our next basketball coach. Um, I, I cannot wait for his first game in the Siegel Center um, as a home coach. You've been here before? Yeah, you've been here before as a coach? Um, how did how'd you do against us then? You did not win. That's right. So it's going to be nice to win in this building for once, isn't it now? That's right. It's going to be nice. But listen, I, I said when I stood up on this stage in, in August of 2012 when I got introduced as the athletic director here, you know, I said VCU is a place we're going to win national championship. We're going to do it. There's no doubt in my mind we're going to win a national championship here. And I really do believe uh, Ryan Odom's the guy to get it done. Um, he, he really is, and I'm, I'm so looking forward to it. It is going to be so nice to have Lucia, Connor, and, uh, and Owen here uh, be with us um, as we go. And the first time we cut down a net and the first time we, we hang a banger, uh, it's going to be really fun. It really will be. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do it um, knowing that the, uh, the name on the front of the jersey uh, is, is our why in, in doing it for our fans and, and most importantly, developing our, our young men uh, into the best versions of themselves. And I'm so very, very excited to do that with you. I really am. So without further ado, the next head basketball coach, Virginia Commonwealth University, Ryan Odom. I'll tell you what, that's a, that's a tough act to follow, those three right here. I mean, Dr. Rao, uh, Robbie, Ed, three great uh, speeches there. And I can't tell you how excited Lucy and I are uh, to be back here in Virginia. Uh, just, just an amazing opportunity, you know, for our family and our staff to be here. I want to take a moment and thank these guys right here, first and foremost, and uh, Dr. Rao and Ed both mentioned it. Um, these guys are what it's all about. And I know today is a press conference introducing a new coach, um, but these guys are what it's all about. This, that's why this exists right here. That's why you fans show up 
all right, is to watch these guys play. And I want to acknowledge, I want to acknowledge that transitions are hard. Transitions are very hard. And, you know, we've had two coaches, Coach Rhodes, obviously making a decision, all right, to go somewhere else, myself, all right, making a decision once that happened, all right, to go somewhere else. And uh, I, it's not lost on me that the impact of those decisions, all right, impacts others, right, and sets things in motion uh, that uh, are not easy, are not easy. And these guys are here dealing with that. And one thing that I'm really thankful for is how fast it's happened, right? Because immediately we're able to be here. I've got some of my staff here, Bryce and Kelsey right now. Matt Henry's on the way. Uh, you'll meet them at, a, at another time. Uh, but we've been able to get to know these guys in a very short amount of time. We had dinner last night uh, in the facility across the street. And we were able to just kind of talk. There was no speech or anything like that. It was just uh, time spent together eating uh, in that beautiful place over there. What an unbelievable place that you guys have created here uh, and the atmosphere that you've created. <laughs> Unreal. But it's, fu it's been fun for me to kind of meet them. And I'm going to meet each one of them individually uh, as we go forward once we get past this uh, to kind of see where their, their head's at and their goals are. And, uh, and really try to get going uh, with this here uh, new chapter at VCU. Um, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't start out with thank yous. All right. Thank you, Dr. Rao, uh, for your belief in me. Thank you, Ed, for your belief in me. Thank you for this amazing opportunity. And what I would say is I don't really view this as an opportunity. I view this as a responsibility. And the responsibility is not lost on me at all. The banners, all right, that are up here, all right, they're up here because of the former coaches, all right, most, least, most recently Coach Rhodes, obviously ones previous and before him, all right, but most importantly all the players, all right, that have put in all the hard work, all right. The coaches a lot of times get a lot of the credit, but the players are the ones that get it done, and that's what it's all about. And so there's going to be, right, Absolutely. The tradition of excellence that has existed here, all right, at VCU is second to none. One of the reasons why I'm standing right here before you right now. What coach wouldn't want to coach here, right, in this environment, all right, with the tools that we have, all right, at our disposal to be able to recruit top players, all right, to be able to retain top players like we have here sitting in front of us right now, all right, to, to make this tradition continue. And then you heard what they said as well, right, to continue and grow it. Certainly it's our goal, all right, to, it's kind of ironic, right, that the Final Four is in Houston this year. There are three teams in the Final Four right now, one that was in the conference that I most recently coached in at Utah State and San Diego State, three teams, it's their first time in the Final Four, just like VCU in 2011. We're going to get back there. We're going to get back there. I'd also like to thank Lucia. Uh, she's been on this coaching journey with me, um, you know, for so long. Uh, we got married um, in, uh, in D.C., actually. Not in D.C., but when I was working in D.C. And uh, had our first child, you know, Connor, who's now 21. And, uh, you know, she's been... I couldn't do what I do if it wasn't for her. And coaches and administrators around understand what and how important it is to have a partner in life that's willing to let you chase your passion. And she's been able to, to do that for me, and I'm so thankful for her. Obviously, I'm thankful for my, for my two boys. Uh, they're just a blessing to, to both of us, and you'll get to meet them. They're actually at the Final Four right now with my parents and my brother. And so they're looking after them and, and having a good time, hopefully. But you'll see all of them, 
uh, here at games at times, and, and they, will, they will be a part, an in integral part of our, of our program. I want to thank uh, my parents uh, for showing me the way. Um, you know, my parents are, are a tremendous example. Obviously, you know my father, he's co he coached college basketball and high school basketball for a long, long time, so I've grown up in this, like in, in this profession, and I've been so fortunate to be around so many high-level people that understand that it's not about any one individual, it's about the experience that we're helping these guys have while we have them under our watch. And that's something that is so important to me and our staff each and every day. Doesn't mean we, we tell them everything that they want to hear, uh, but it does mean that we love them every single day. And this team right here will be no different, all right? That suits up next year. All right, we're going to challenge them. Uh, we're going to do uh, all the things that um, they will need to have done to them in, in order to be a champion. And that's a daily process. All right, you, don't just, you can't just buy a banner and hang it up. It starts right away. It starts in the summers. It starts in the weight room. And I watched these guys in the weight room this morning. They were awesome. All right, they are very coachable. Uh, Roos had them rolling in there right away. And uh, just really, really excited you know, to get in the gym with them. But uh, again, going back to my parents, a uh, tremendous example uh, for, for my brother and I. I also want to thank all of my, my former players, because that's what it's all about. The relationships that uh, have been built over time at the different stops as an assistant coach. I had two Virginia Tech guys, you know, that, that I, I was fortunate enough to coach in Blacksburg, text me. Uh, when I got the job, I had a, had a, a player from Charlotte call me this morning, uh, who was a great player, and... Uh, and, and just congratulating, you know, our family on this tremendous opportunity. And so the relationships uh, that are formed between a coach and a player uh, are unlike any other. And they're so important. And, you know, for me to be able to, to be right here, I'm only here because of the players that I've been fortunate enough to coach. And that's, that's it's as simple as that. The mentors who've challenged me, I've worked for some great coaches. Uh, you know, it started right down the road here. Uh, I played for a coach named Tony Shaver. You all probably know him. Uh, he's a legend in this state uh, at Hampton Sydney College. Uh, and I've got so many teammates that have texted me. Obviously, when this, this opportunity came to fruition, guys that, you know, live here in the area that, that played for the Tigers right down the road and played for Coach Shaver, you know, I'm here because of him, and I'm here because of my teammates, you know, and the, the moments that we shared together. And uh, Coach Shaver is one of the best coaches I've ever been around. He learned everything, uh, you know, obviously from, from Dean Smith, you know, playing for him, you know, at, at North Carolina, and he shared everything he learned from him to us. And <clears throat> still talk to him, he texted me yesterday, and uh, he's so excited that we're back, back here in Virginia. Um, the other coaches that I've worked for, Seth Greenberg, Jeff Jones, Alan Major, Eddie Biedenbach. Uh, you know, I've had some great coaches over the years that, you know, have given me an opportunity to grow as a coach, uh, to fail as a coach. And they've been right there for me uh, to help me grow and, and continue to you know, challenge myself to get outside of myself and get uncomfortable, right, which is a huge word here, you know, at VCU, being okay, being uncomfortable, and, um, and uncommon, right, that's, that's, uh, that's what it's all about, we want to, we want to be great, and I've had great coaches that have challenged me over the years uh, to be my best, and anything that I've learned, I try to give back, you know, to my guys, um, I've talked about that, the responsibility, but the style of play. Let's talk a little bit about that. We had a good time with the guys today, and I wanted to get some film to them right away. So right after they lifted weights, we had them come into the film room. Uh, we showed them, you know, our offensive style of play and kind of how we go about things. And, you know, I think it was easy for them to tell it's an unselfish style of play. 
the open guy is a lot of times the go-to guy for us. Doesn't mean that we don't run specific actions and things for specific players at key times. We certainly do that. Uh, but it's a free-flowing NBA European style of play where we're trying to score quickly in transition. And I know these guys will flourish in that environment and really encourage them all right, to make the, the right play, the right basketball play. And that takes time to learn how to do that. All right? It takes a lot of hours you know, in the gym to be able to do that. And certainly from a defensive perspective, you know, we want to be an attacking defense. All right? We want to be hard to score on. And you know, we pride ourselves on continuing to evolve over the course of the season. We want to get better as the season goes along. And our teams have been able to do that uh, over the years. And that's, that's really what it is. It's, it's the most balanced teams in college basketball and sports in general win basketball games. And we want to be a well-balanced team on both offense and defense. And we will attack. It will be fun. A fun style of play that, that I know you won't need that because you're already on your feet like Ed said. But I promise you, when you watch that ball flying around like our guys play, you'll really appreciate and enjoy, all right, the way that they play the game. They weren't, they're going to play it the right way. And then obviously we're, we want to chase excellence in everything we do. We're going we're to encourage these guys to chase excellence in everything they do, all right? And first and foremost, that's in the classroom. We want them to be the best students that they can possibly be. They, we obviously know that they're here to play, to play the game that they love, to pour into that root each and every day to become the best individual player and team player that they can be. But we wanna take that same energy on the academic side and do the exact same thing, all right? Because eventually, as we all know, the air comes out of that ball. And then what's next? And we wanna be there for our guys and we wanna make sure that our guys are prepared for life after basketball once they're done playing. And that's a daily thing. You know, that's, a, that's a team thing. That's an individual thing, but it's a collective thing. And that certainly comes from the top. And you have my word that you guys will be challenged in that area. And then lastly, we want to max them out as people. We want them to be the best human beings that they can possibly be. We want them to be leaders, all right, not only on campus here or within their team, we want them to be leaders within this community that means so much to all of us. And that's, that's done through you know, work every day, that's done through sports, all right? that's done through times in the gym, that's done through culture meetings that we have with our guys, all right? that's done through encouraging them and challenging them all right, to be better. And certainly they're gonna get that on a daily basis. But I've probably talked long enough here uh, at this point about my love and, and excitement you know, for VCU basketball. I can't wait to get going. I can't thank you guys enough for showing up today. I know it's a Friday. I know the Final Four is getting ready to happen. And I really appreciate you coming to support us and get this thing going. I can't tell you how excited we are to get to work. And we're excited to win championships too. Thank you so much. All right, just a couple quick housekeeping items before we get you out of here. First of all, look at the new video boards. Did you guys see them? They're awesome. They're, the whole thing is going to be video. And for those of you, and I know many of you do, that you sit on this side of the arena, and you've been so jealous because the other side has that ribbon board up there that has all of our great corporate sponsors. Now you're going to have all the way around. So when you guys come back to the Seagull Center in November, there's going to be LED boards all the way around, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. It's going to make it even cooler. So look, out, look forward to that. Media. Uh, Coach will take your questions and take the interviews and all the things that you need to know over here uh, on that side. And finally, uh, what are you guys doing for dinner tonight? 
I'm just asking because we're going to have a special introductory show with Coach Odom at the Buffalo Wild Wings just west of Glenside, right there where the Steinmark used to be a long time ago. So it's that Buffalo Wild Wings. I suggest you might get there a little bit early, but we would love to have you there. That's 5 o'clock is the show. If you cannot make it, that's totally cool. You can listen to it on our VCU Athletics app, which I'm sure you guys have all downloaded because that's where you get many of your tickets, and also the Varsity app. So those are the three things. We've got the video boards, got the press, and then I hope to see you tonight at Buffalo Wild Wings. So let's go one more time and welcome our new head coach, Ryan Odom, to the VCU Ram Nation family. Coach, welcome. Welcome. 